There's a new drug on the streets, Kush. It's cheap, highly addictive and deadly. What makes Kush particularly terrifying is its key ingredient, human bone. This isn't your average drug. This is something far more sinister. Law enforcement is struggling to keep up with its spread. We need to understand why this drug is spreading, who's making it and how we can stop it. This is a matter of life and death and we need to act now. The clock is ticking. Kush's effects are immediate and devastating. Users experience hallucinations, paranoia and violent outbursts. The drug causes the tongue to spasm, violently retracting and extending, often leading to suffocation. Death can occur within the first use. Those who survive a single dose are never the same. Kush ravages the brain, causing permanent psychosis and severe neurological damage. Uh, the human cost of this drug is immeasurable. We're talking about destroyed lives, shattered families and a generation at risk. Kush is aggressively marketed to young people. Dealers lace candies and vape liquids with the drug, masking its deadly nature. Social media plays a significant role in its spread, with anonymous accounts glorifying its use. This isn't just a problem for at-risk youth. This is affecting everyone. We need to educate our children about the dangers of Kush. Parents, educators and community leaders need to be vigilant and proactive. We need to reach them before this drug does. Section 4. Combating the Kush Epidemic. A multifaceted approach. Combating the Kush Epidemic requires a multi-pronged approach. First, we need stricter regulations and harsher penalties for dealers. This isn't about criminalizing addiction. It's about saving lives. We need to cut off the supply at its source. Second, we need public awareness campaigns that are hard-hitting and impossible to ignore. We need to flood the airwaves, social media and schools with the realities of Kush. Knowledge is power and it can save lives. Section 5. Creating opportunities, saving lives. We can't arrest our way out of this problem. We need to create opportunities for young people that offer a viable alternative to drugs and despair. This means investing in education, job training and mentorship programs. When young people have hope, when they have a future, they're less likely to turn to drugs. This isn't just about fighting Kush, it's about investing in our future. It's about showing our youth that we care that they matter and that they have a place in this world. Section 6. A hopeful future free from Kush. The fight against Kush is a fight for our children, our communities and our future. It's a fight we can win but only if we fight it together. We need to be relentless, we need to be vocal and we need to be united. This isn't someone else's problem, this is our problem and it's time we start acting like it. Let's work together to create a world where every young person has the opportunity to thrive, free from the grip of deadly drugs like Kush.